battered and bruised, England had to find replacements for two injured batsmen, Dennis Amos and John Edrich, for the second test. The Australian press called the English team Dad's Army when they recalled one of their old generals back into battle, 42-year-old Michael Colin Cowdery. MCC by name and nature, was summoned from the depths of a cold English winter to do battle with the firepower of Lillian Thompson on the fastest wicket in Australia, Perth. England always do the same things. In moments of crisis, you go back to experience. Colin was still viewed as one of the best, if not the best, player of fast bowling in England. I got him at home and... I, he, I said to him, you've been watching the series? Yes, he'd been sitting in his armchair, ducking and weaving like most people. And I said, well, I've, I've got something to ask you, Colin. I said, you probably see we've got a few injuries and uh, we need an experienced man, somebody who's, you know, batted in the top order, got the runs. You're the first choice. You know, would you be interested in, in coming uh, out to join us and do battle? And the words that came down the phone to me were, I would love to, Mike. You walked in the dressing room. Uh, Kipper, uh, such a lovely man, and he pushed the, the buckles on his um, on his case, and it started to hiss. I mean, it was all this rubber foam that he had in the top, right? which was a special stuff that he used to actually stick onto his chest. It's only about that thick, but he used to just cut it into a little piece and stick it onto his chest, and that was his uh, chest protector. When Cowdery got out there. <coughs> um, Tom was bowling from the causeway end and he's let one go that's bounced and bounced over the wicket keeper and slips and hit the sight screen on the first bounce and Cowdery's at the non-striker's end, this is his first viewing of Tom And as Tom comes back, he gives Cowdery the eye line, just looks straight ahead and doesn't say anything and Cowdery, which I think is one of the best one-liners ever, said, good morning, my name's Cowdery. I'm back at myself. <laughs> I shook hands with him that, but it was something different. Nobody's ever done it before or since, so that, and I just thought, oh, good luck if you think that's going to do you any good. Credit where credit's due. I mean, he showed tremendous courage, didn't flinch at all, and, and would have got hit 20 or 30 times during the series. Serious blows to the body, and really didn't uh, show any pain at all. You could see he was a good player, and uh, um, he ended up, yeah, we were great mates and all that sort of thing, uh, Colin Cowdery, which is quite ironic, isn't it? I mean, he's a bring to mind, but uh, um, he's a really top bloke he was, and a top player.